It was the middle of the night door knock everyone dreads. They said that, um, I'm sorry to inform you, but your sister has been killed fatally in a car accident. Sheila Nagengas got the devastating news from the NYPD at 1.30 in the morning on Halloween. They informed her little sister, Denise, was hit by a car, thrown into the air and suffered fatal injuries. They flew into the sky, landed on the pavement, and their face was unrecognizable. My question was, how did you identify my sister? And they said that there was some sort of ID there that they were able to identify her. She was in shock the next few hours, consenting to organ donation, then rushing to the hospital morgue. Word spread fast among friends and family, sharing the news on Facebook and sharing this article that 44-year-old Denise Owens of New Door Beach was walking against traffic when she was fatally struck, according to NYPD's Highway District Collision Investigation Squad. In 35 years of handling accident cases, I've never had this mix-up. I've never seen this mix-up. Sheila was actually meeting with local injury attorney John D'Agostino to file her sister's wrongful death suit when her phone rang. It was her other sister saying that she had spotted Denise alive right near the intersection where police said she had been struck and killed. She was standing at the 7-Eleven. She FaceTimes me and my sister Denise, who is pronounced dead by NYPD, Staten Island Hospital North, the morgue who has all her information and everybody else, the newspapers, is standing directly in front of my sister. Alive and well. Alive. It takes us from a wrongful death action to possible action for negligent infliction of emotional duress. The NYPD apologized to her, said that they have corrected the records and taken her sister's name off and informed the correct family it was their loved one who died. Nobody should go through what I've been through in the last 24 hours. Nobody. In Staten Island, Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.